In this lesson, we're going to take our second look at breaking glass. Now we've already established the windshield. We've added two different constraints to it. We've added the weld adjacent borders and we added the terrible surface constraints. The weld adjacent borders is going across the border of our object and we ended up using a maximum distance here of 0.01. We went back and kind of fine-tuned this a bit. Okay, and all of our other parameters here, we've got a 200 strength, glue strength of 0.1, and bend strength of 100, and a break angle of 60, and we're excluding our collisions. Now the terrible surface constraint that goes on the inside broke apart our geometry, and we're basically using the same values as we scroll down here, with the exception of I settled on a bend break angle of 10. I want to keep this low enough so that the glass actually shatters. And this is definitely something that you have to play with. So we might start off at a higher value, or you might start off at a really low value, uh, and then you're going you know, to find that in-between sweet spot. Even the momentum of the vehicle can cause this bending brake angle to happen. Okay, so as the vehicle travels through the air, the glass could just start falling out, even though there was no impact. So it's a very touchy thing. We've got to make sure that we've got that right value. It does take some fine tuning. Okay, and that means running your simulation over and over and over again. All right, so we've got good values here. And now let's take a look at our other windows. I've already set these up, and we'll just unhide our layer here. Okay, and they're set up in the same exact way. We've selected the border edge, we've added our weld, and then we've grabbed the interior vertices and added our terrible surface constraint. Again, the geometry does not match one to one okay, all the way around the surface. We can see we have a little bit extra there okay, and definitely some discrepancies over here we'll want to fine tune that minimum or maximum distance on that weld adjacent vertices okay, in order to get that to line up better. Okay? Having too much will snap all those vertices, basically break the glass before it even starts moving. Okay, and then the last one in the back here for that rear window we didn't score this geometry, we're just leaving it as is, but again, you know, you can always come in and break it up. It is highly recommended that you match the geometry, and that will make that constraint go better, and basically what I'm referring to there is having edge to edge. So from my glass surface to my truck surface, I'm matching those edges. It can be done without it, as I'm demonstrating here, but it, it is much easier uh, in the long run if you can match it. Okay. And then you can always just add extra geometry on the interior. You don't have to extend it all the way out. All right, that should be good. Now I've already cached this. I've selected all the pieces of glass. Gone to end cache, create new cache, okay, and ran that. Okay. Now, the first time I ran it, and let's take a look here. Let's go to our nucleus. The first time that I ran the cache, I did it at a much lower sub-step and maximum collision. I kept them at the same that we did our metal surface of 6 and 20. Okay. And this is what we ended up here. We'll bring our movie in. Okay. This is our glass at the 6 and 20. You can see how it kind of bobbles there. Okay? A little piece of glass fell out even before it started flipping. Okay? Overall not too bad, but we wanted to get rid of some of that wobble right there in the front of our animation. Okay? This what we have here is done with the full 10 and 60. And we've also set up a camera so we can kind of watch the action here. And let's hide all those extras. Okay, and we'll hit play. All right, still wobbles a little bit. We can't completely get rid of that. Okay, but now we get 
quite a bit of action from our glass there. And it even kind of stays together, you know, and especially with a windshield, it's made of safety glass. So, you know, it, it is meant to retain uh, itself. So it will kind of drag or drape, uh, like even like a cloth object right there. So uh, having that terrible surface constraint and those weld constraints, we can get that type of effect. And um, I think it looks pretty cool. All right, let's just grab all of those again here real quick. Okay, and let's switch back over. All right, and just one more time so you can see that the back breaks out all of our highlighted pieces there. We get some good large chunks that kind of just go flying. And then when they hit the ground, they end up shattering uh, on our surface as well. So lots of action there that we get out of that. All right, so that is our second look at breaking glass.